Hey hi, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to create new Azure Cognitive Service, which is Phase API. When I say Azure Cognitive Services, these are APIs which we can integrate to our applications with the help of simple lines of codes and uh, the, with the help of these APIs, we can easily uh, detect the phases, voices and a lot of stuff to do. Here in this video, as we are going to uh, create a new phase API, with the help of phase API, we can easily detect one or more human phases in an image, the one you are uploading, and get back phase rectangle uh, wherever the uh, phases detects. So, uh, this is the introduction about the phase detection API, that is phase API, and uh, let's just go on to what is there in a Facebook now. So, uh, I have just opened my Facebook account and whenever I upload any image, we all uh, uh, get a provision to tag our friends, right? So, Facebook exactly using the same thing actually. So, whenever there is a face, it will just give you a, a rectangle box and uh, here we can easily tag our friends. So, in the end of this video, you will be able to create a new Face API Azure Cognitive Service exactly same like in Facebook doing. Okay, let's just close this Facebook. So I have already listed down what are the things we are going to do in this video. As of now, the first thing we are going to do is create a new Face API in the portal, Azure portal. Provided you will have to create a subscription if you don't have any, any subscription yet. To create a subscription, I suggest you to create a sign up for Azure Visual Studio subscription. This is a link where you can sign up for this and you will be able to get a few thousand INR per month. So let's just uh, go and create one. And once after you create, uh, come back to the portal. That's where we are going to create a new phase API. Go to the portal.assure.com and click on login. Once everything is loaded, just click on new button and type phase API. Click on the phase API. Now uh, we are going to create a new phase API as I said earlier. Just click on create. You will have to give your uh, phase API name, location, pricing, tier, resource group and etc. So let's just create a new one. Uh, phase API. Video demo. Let's just delete the video. ACPA demo. Okay, sounds good. And I'm going to create, I'm going to select my subscription Visual Studio Enterprise and location as Southeast Asia and pricing tier. I'm gonna go click on the free one. Select. I'm going to use uh, my existing resource group. If you haven't created a new, I mean any resource group, just click on create new and create. Uh, hereby I confirm I have read and understood the notice below. Everything is good. And if you click on the pin to dashboard checkbox, it will actually, once everything is deployed, it will actually just add this particular resource to the dashboard so that you can easily access them. Let's click on create and now the deployment will be started and it will be end uh, very soon maybe another few seconds. Yeah it's done. So once after it is created what two things you want to notice here is one is endpoint and one is the key. To get the key uh, just click on the show access keys. Uh, you will be getting two keys. You can use any one of this. So, as of now, we have just created a new phase API with a few uh, seconds. It's, it hardly took uh, maybe uh, 120 seconds. Yep. 
Now, uh, what you are going to do is we are going to create a new WPF application where uh, we can use this keys and the endpoint so that we can actually at the end of this video we will be creating an application where we will upload an image and we will just try to find how many phases are there in the image. Sounds good? Okay. Now I have just opened my Visual Studio. Now what I need to do is I need to create a WPF application, right? So that I'm gonna search for WPF workloads. And here it is. Sorry. Uh, here it is WPF app.net C sharp. Click on it. And let's just make face API demo. Everything looks good. Click OK. So, uh, the project will be loaded in few seconds. Once it is done, we'll just put uh, some upload button and a browse button for image. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, for an easy purpose uh, to understand the video, I mean, I won't take this video too much longer time. So I have just click um, and added the code in a Word document. I will just I'll just uh, replace in these codes. I'm not going to type each and line. So as of now, uh, I will have to drag an image button controls from the toolbox. Yeah, you can always do it from the toolbox. General, you'll be able to select as many controls you want as of now i'm just going to copy this code and i have pasted it now this should work and remember you'll have to change this to Phase API demo. That's that is our namespace, right? Namespace phase API demo. Yeah, everything cool. Everything looks good. And the only thing is there is no button click, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click button click. Button upload click is the now it's cool done let's just run the application and make sure that everything is perfect The build just got succeeded. Now we can see the form. Cool. Everything is perfect. Now what we are going to do is uh, whenever we are uploading an image, that image must be shown in this window. So for that, I will have to write some codes. We are going to open a new frame. I'll just explain the code once after I copy this code. Button click. Let's copy this code. And in the button click, I pasted it. So, what this will do is it will just open a frame to select the image that we need to open. And it will just uh, Assign the image to the control phase API phase image is the control what we have over here This is our uh, image control So let's just go and see that now I'm gonna click on start again Upload image Yeah, 
got the image now i just loaded an image and now that image is uh, within that image control so our first part is done now what we are going to do is we'll just we'll just write a code uh, for detecting the phases count before uh, we are doing that code we will have to go to a nuget and add a and go to the manage nuget package and we will have to add, add a new package Microsoft dot project dot Oxford dot phase that is the uh, package that we need to add to support this feature. Just go ahead and browse for it and click and install. Once it is done, you'll be able to see the references in the re under references area. I click accept. Cool, that's done. Let's go and see that in the references. So it's there actually. So Microsoft Project Oxford, common Microsoft Project Oxford dot face. This Project Oxford was the name that Microsoft had given to this particular API before. Now they have changed the name along, but this uh, package name is still there. Okay, yeah, I, let's just close this. And now go back to the Word document and we, we are going to write the code. Before that, we will have to create an instance of iFace service client with the key and endpoint what we have already created in the Azure portal. Do you remember that? Okay. Now uh, we need to import the microsoft.projectoxford.phase.phase phase, dot phase client. Yeah. It's done. Let's just get the key and endpoint now. Go back to your portal. Uh, this is my key. I just copied it. I have given it here and I need the endpoint, right? Endpoint. Let's just copy it again. And this is the endpoint. Let's. Wow. The setup is done now. Now we'll have to create some code, right? So we are going to create a new function which act which will actually detect the phases. I'll just explain the code later in a sec. Okay, I'm going to create a new app, new function. Cool. So to use the phase rectangle, I will have to use the Microsoft local contract Microsoft dot project talks for dot phase dot contract phase rectangle and uh, sister dot io dot file so our name phases are ready yeah you can see it here now uh, we'll have to use this uh, function right we'll be writing the code for that as well but let me just give an introduction about this code this actually uh, it this function will return the phase rectangle that means the rectangle part which is going to cover in each phases so we are going to give the string file path this is the image file path that we are going to upload and it will just detect the uh, phases and it will just return the phases and from the uh, will be creating phase rectangle this part this is the with this two line of code you'll be able to detect the phases remaining everything is uh, being done in the background that is already the that the api uh, we have already included will take care of that this is the thing i'm saying about so that's cool right we uh, we just need to create a function which will actually return the phase rectangle that is all what we need to do 
okay now let's just go ahead and create a few more functions and in the button click i'm gonna click make this make method async i have changed it to async since we are going to use an asynchronous method here okay that's cool now the big the good thing is actually we are going to draw our own rectangles with the help of the apis once after everything is done uh, we will just assign the image again to the image okay now everything is done uh, once we will uh, we'll be getting the phase fa phase is found here uh, as a phase rectangle and we will be counting that if it is less than or equal to zero we'll just return it and we are going to with the help of drawing visual we are going to draw the rectangles in each phases oh that's so cool right and once after everything is done we'll be we'll, we'll just rendering that to a target bitmap and we'll just assign the source to the image control if everything is working fine this actually whenever we upload epic let's just run this application and see whether there is an error yeah oh my god we got an error Uh, what it is saying an extension method button will accept to first tag name window could be using so this is a problem with uh, button click async we don't need it to async Change the return type to void. And click on save and build it again. Well, build is succeeded, and now we are good to go and run our application. Click on start. Now we need to upload an image. Uh, the phases is detecting now and we found uh, 52 phases so these are all the phases cool right okay that's all for the video and you can always uh, change the uh, brushes design here in this code you can always edit those information maybe you can make it to more thinner or lighter or uh, you can make it a bold you can uh, actually uh, sizing the box as a rectangle we are showing that's all for this video and this code you'll be able to get the code in uh, github uh, github.com slash And you can see the code here. Here we go. Uh, Veno slash Azure Cognitive Services Space API. Please go ahead and download the uh, code and you will be able to create your own Phase API application. I hope you found this video interesting and uh, please do share me your thoughts and feedback. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching.